what you talking about. I've been at this for two or three hours and all these things are out here. We, we know the show, you know, because see, God gave me this. You know, I didn't get to check it out. So I, that's why I guess the song was 12, right? All right. All right. And uh, if y'all know who, 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 I said Abraham, I said Jacob. Now, now Jacob uh, had a son named Joseph. You, you read the Bible, man, boys. I'm going to write it. All right. And then he messed, he messed, he messed over his brother, didn't he? Yep. What was his brother's name? Esau. Esau. All right. Okay. okay. We, we together now. And, and so, 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 here, here is Jacob, whose heart, he loved all his boys, but his heart was Joseph. Amen? Matter of fact, he fixed him a coat of many colors. Joseph is a type of Christ. You know, the Old Testament is full of types. You know, Joshua was a type of Christ. And, and you know, the Old Testament is New Testament concealed. So you see stuff in the Old Testament, and in the New Testament, you can find it reveal what they were, what they were hiding. And so, and so here is this old man now. And years have passed since his son, Joseph, was supposedly killed by wild animals and the coat of many colors that he had fixed for, for the boy. They had brought it to him and showed him all the blood on it. But what they had done, they had beat him up, thrown him in a pit to die, and then they decided that uh, when some Israelites was coming through, descendants of Abraham, amen, they were coming through where the Arab world came from, by the way, amen. They come through, they said, we can sell them and make some money. Amen? Amen. And, and we know the story how he ended up uh, being delivered out of the pit and he was uh, sold and he ended up in Pharaoh's house, at part of his house rather than part of his wife had a thing for him. And he was so full of, he was in the Old Testament, full of the spirit and so high and moral, he would not mess with his part of his because Mr. Potiphar was so nice to him, and, and, and he was an honorable person, and Mr. Potiphar got mad when she tried to hit on him and tried to just make him mess with him. He took off and ran and left his coat, and she lied on him. So he come out of that hole in the ground to die. He is sold, and now he looks like, look at this blesser, I'm not here in Potiphar's house, and now Mr. Potiphar mess up again. And he, Potiphar, Potiphar really believed him. He said, he said, no, I didn't do that. But you know how some of us, we got a bag, I may be willing to know that. Yeah. That's wrong to do that. But we don't get bad, you know, because we just want to keep peace. So he ends up in jail. Amen. And, and, and then in jail, God was still with him. When God is with you, he's with you. And, 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 and you know, he said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. All right. So I don't care what, what, where you are, if God is with you, he's with you. Man might leave you, folk might leave you, but God will not leave you. If God said it, huh? he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm going to give you all a subject in a minute, okay? And, and so then he goes to jail, and in jail, you know, he's having visions and things. And, and, and he was interpreting dreams, you see. And, 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 and people got news of, of what he could do. And you recall, one of the guys in jail got out, and he told the guy to speak a word for him. Yeah. And the guy, he done a bunch of stuff for the guy while he was in jail. What was it, the butler? What was that little boy? I can't remember. But anyway, when he got out, he didn't speak no word for him. He said, man, I'm going to take care of you. Because when you take care of him, I said, yeah, I'm going to talk to the man for you. Because I know him, amen. I, I know the man, amen. You know, uh, you said a whole lot of guys when you're mad and get in trouble with you know your man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this man is a good man to know. Amen. This is what I'm talking about. So, so uh, here he is, uh, still in prison, and that's a lot uh, the big man gives vision that he can't understand. He gives a dream he can't understand. Pharaoh. And uh, 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 the guy offered a reward for whoever could understand it. And the guy remembered Joseph. And Joseph let him know that what he's seeing in the vision is a family. 
And he said, you will have either seven or ten years of feast and then the same number of years of famine. Amen? And, and he said that what you ought to do during the feast time is put it away. Yeah. Put some of it away. Yeah. See, like today, you know, some of us don't know how to, how, to, how to be ready for famine. Wow. You ever see folks, you know, like we all get them checks, them, them big checks, you know, we're going to get them. They get the big check. Yeah. You know, you got to learn to put it away because in six months, you grow. Yeah. You just want to put some of that away. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's like last month when, when I told you that I sacrificed a week's pay, but it didn't hurt me because I had something put away. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Matter of fact, I said out of time, this, this, this past week, uh, God told me to send a minister friend somewhere away from here uh, money. He just said, send something. And at first I didn't know that happened. Then God said, listen, when I tell you to do something, you better do it. And what I said I was going to do, he, he made me add another two on to that. You know, he says, no, no you know, seven is completely said seven. Amen? Amen. You, see, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 Joel was telling him now, you know, just because you got plenty, don't eat it all up. Yeah. Eat plenty because, you, because, you know, you're being blessed. Yeah. But then you're getting enough to put some away. Yeah. I mean, I've had folks tell me sometimes when I hear, when I hear, I throw, I had to throw away some food. That's, a, that's a terrible, really. Right? Therefore, God, that's problem. Well, if you, you cannot buy exactly enough, you know, so you either going to have a lot, you're going to say, well, I had that boy, I wish I just had a little bit more. Or you're going to say, I had a little too much. Now, if you're being blessed, you're supposed to have a little too much. And you ain't going to be so tight that, that you, you, you thought you needed 10 pork chops, and so you bought 10, but you found out you need 12, and somebody didn't get them. You should have got 15. And maybe they need but 12, amen, and maybe, maybe we let the dog have it, amen. But that's it, that's all that says. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. How did I get away? Let me see if I can go back here then. Okay, so, so this was such a dynamic plan. Uh, Joseph got promoted to the number two man in the kingdom. Isn't there something? From the whole, amen, from the jail to the prime minister of the whole nation, running the whole show. Look at Jesus. Amen? And, and, and so, this dad is making his son and dad all these years. And they had hard times. And, and they here down in Egypt, they got all kinds of food. Pharaoh was selling, selling food to the world. While the world was starving, he was so blessed, he just blessed, he just blessed everybody. And so the dad said, y'all go down there and see if we can buy some food. Amen? And they go down to buy some food. After all these years, they walk in and hear that brother. They don't even know it. Look at y'all. Amen? They walk in and, 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 and he recognizes them. And, and he started asking questions to took a while. And, and uh, they said, told him how, how, why they came there. He said, I knew he came to spy. He knew who they were. He wanted to know about everybody. Yes. So he started asking all kinds of questions. And I uh, said, uh, is, this, is this all of Oh no, we got a daddy back there. And uh, we got a brother. And we got, you know, they went on. He said, okay. Okay. He said, well, I'll take care of the food if you prove that you're lying. So I want you to leave your brother Simeon here. Amen. And go get the other brother. I want to see him too. Make sure you ain't lying. Amen. And I'm going to have all the food you want. So they go back now and they tell the daddy. We got down there and, and they do have all that food they say. You know, folk always got to check God out. You know, they, they got it just like they say. Just like when they went across, when, 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 when it's 12 went across to check out Canaan, you know, check them back. Just like they say. The blessed is everywhere. Now, I, I hope one of these days y'all do that when we come down to tithing and stuff. You know, y'all go to tithing. See, that was the original folk I had. You know, that's what they did. But when I first said, they said, what's the plan for raising money? Man? That's what we want to do. You're the pastor now. I said, I got a plan. Oh, good. It's tithing. <laughs> I told you, this year. I'm a member of Paul Spencer. <laughs> you don't know what I'm making. Because I, I said this a long ago. But Brother Paul became one of the most generous guys that I ever passed. Amen? 
because they all begin to see what tithing would do. Yeah. Amen. So I hope some of y'all, more of y'all will decide, oh, y'all really sad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about giving. Oh, my God. Ooh. I'm trying to tell you what God, I'm going to tell you what God said, all right? Amen. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. I'm going to tell you what God said. I hate to keep referring to it, but I'm a guy. I'm a guy that, 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 that this time last year was, was, was leasing. Leasing and renting is the same, but leasing is what you do when it costs a lot. Yeah. And it's real nice and folk come and take care of it. Yeah. Renting is what you do when it costs less and you got to call them about 50 times and they might show up next month and they ain't going to have fix what they showed up on. That's renting. Yeah. And then leasing is the same thing, but it's more... You understand what I'm saying? You see, we're paying fourteen hundred dollars a month. That's leasing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and I'm a guy who had told me to that. Now, about this time this year, after I break it, the lease is up in December, starting January this year, I'm gonna do the monthly. Because by the end of this year, I'm gonna be looking for me a house. Amen. And I y'all know the story. I'm gonna keep telling. It. Amen. God would have stuck me in a house that had everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then broke my car in here. We went and got that car. I was going to get about the money fixed with the 300,000 miles. Then they took it out there and I had them tow it to the place. Yeah. They fixed it and we, we went to get it, you know, because it wouldn't start. Got it home. I said, well, something else is happening with it. So, so I'll take it to the car for Thursday when I had an appointment in Aloma. So I ain't gonna take it, you know. I went to start it that Thursday, this was Monday, and it went to start again. <laughs> Amen. God made me buy a new car too. Amen. Amen. Right. And then when the VA said, you uh, got my DD went to 14, they said I'm in good shape, got my humble discharge of that, but I wasn't in there for four months, and you get all the benefits but the VA loan. Had to be in there six months. That go my house. I'm in it. Amen. 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 But what I'm trying to tell you is, when God is for you, He has more than all this. And, and, and then God knew it would be this way now. So if, if I wait tonight, the night, so the things kind of tight, I better not do it. God will let me know, listen, you're you going to do it, we're going to do it, because that thing ain't going to be tight with you. Right. Yes, Amen. You know, you can't, they, they can't be tight with the other. Amen. Folk who hold it back is gonna get tight. So, 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 so these boys are down here, and and and, and Joseph, you know, has been blessed. Yes. Amen. And 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 and, and the daddy is back home with the other son, uh, with his youngest son. He said, "Go get him and prove what you're saying." So he said, "I'm gonna keep this brother Simeon until he come back. Then we'll give you all you want." Amen. In other words, God is saying, I'm going to make you trust me whether you want to or not. Amen. Amen. A whole lot of times I see folks get a blessing and instead of moving up for God, go back with that. Woo, thank you, son. You gave me this now. I'll need you. And boom, the next thing you know, need it more than ever need it. That's how God God ain't no fool. He's a loving God, but he wants to bless us. Are y'all hearing me? I, I try, see, I live long enough, I don't need a personal story. Yes, Amen? I, when I was growing up, I used to go by what the old folks say. Yeah. But I'm not what y'all call old. God called it young. Amen? Are y'all hearing me? And, and, and so I live long enough to know that what I preach works. Are y'all hearing me? Stay with me now. Stay with me now. So they go back and tell him what Joseph said. We got to bring our younger brother. And he said, I've already lost Joseph. Can you read up a little further? And now they got Simeon. Now you're taking Benjamin. Amen? Amen? But the bottom line is, God is giving them the blessing. Are y'all hearing? And, and, and that's when he says, in, in, in that thing, all these things are against me. Amen? That's the spirit of defeat. Are y'all hearing me? 
of the spirit of discouragement. And I'm speaking today. The only way God would change me, because the sermon I was going to preach was nothing like, nothing like this to deal with healing and the Lord's Supper. The only way He changed me, there are some discouraged folk in here today. And discouraged folk need to know that the number one tool of the devil when nothing else will work is discouragement. Amen, somebody? And so many times we walk in the flesh so long that the truth does not seem normal or attainable. And so we continue to walk according to our sight. Faith, amen, is the substance of what we're hoping for and the evidence of what we don't see. Because the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight, amen. And so here was a discouraged old man. Ain't nothing like a discouraged old person. You see, an old guy ought to be lifting y'all up. Ought to be around so long that he know, amen. If you get a brain tumor, don't know that God is still on, God is still in the business. I mean, if you build a ministry, amen, that, that everybody's talking about and, and you're writing up about and magazine authors writing about and, 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 and big white boys down there like Dr. Rawlings in Cincinnati and Dr. Cable in Indianapolis all know, know him and, and the fundamentalists, amen, the, the rising star, 2004 and 7 years, all the buses and all that kind of stuff, amen. But when you lose it all, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You, gonna do? you gonna whine? You gonna whine when you come up against, amen, the white folk who want to, to take it all from you, who want to push you down and take all your money, amen, and, and, and treat you like a second class citizen and you rebel, amen. What are you going to do when you lose it all? And, and, and even in the minister's union, they're saying, heal is dead. Right. Amen. Are you going to whine about it? Are you going to be mad? Amen. Are you going to pull back and suck? Amen. Or are you going to say, trust in the Lord with all your heart? Leave not on your own understanding. I don't understand it, Lord. I was doing what you told me to do. I didn't want to go over there. You know I didn't want to go over there. Wasn't nothing great about going over there. But you made me go, so I did what you said. And then 50 years later, I can still tell him that. But some little, little man, I can tell him, I didn't ask for this job. I ran from it. I didn't want to do it. You told me to do it. I did what you said. You said you're going to be with me. You said you're going to be blessed. You're going to bless me. Now I'm just going to stand on your word. I'm not looking at what how things look out there because I can't see no fun right there. But you're the God who's already there. You're already in my life. You're already Thing. You will do the wrong thing. Amen. 
I'm going to folk to have to break up in a relationship. Amen? And instead of laying back, getting healed from the bad relationship, go out and make another dumb mistake based on discouragement and get in the same mess they were in before. Amen? Don't make discouraged movements. Who oh God, I just give you this to you. Amen? Amen? When nothing else will work, discouragement will do it. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And so you're looking at an old, discouraged man. Amen? Amen? That's why the relationship said, be not weary in well-doing. Amen? Be not weary. Be, 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 don't, don't, don't be weary in well-doing. For in due time, amen? In due time, in due time, you're going to reap if you don't faint. And y'all hear that? In due time, somebody said, they said, I, I haven't got that yet. You all claim this, and Lord, it's my new time. Lord, it's my new time. Amen. Somebody, somebody ain't listening. They ought to be listening. Amen. Take my word for it. There's always somebody in church. That's why some folks don't know again. They don't get it. They don't get nothing. Amen. Because they don't come to church to get it. Amen. That's a good question. Why are you here today? Amen. Do you, you come just to come? Amen. Just to get out the house. Amen. Or did you come to get the word from the Lord? Amen. And then make them, make them learn something. 
but a no storm. Amen. So they can be independent. No fire, no cloud. Amen. That can keep them up there. So I can keep myself up there. Amen, somebody. Amen. Beauty is and beauty does. Oh my God. I say some people are born with that. But we're born that, that bad outlook. Amen. And, and then there are others you can look off through the Bible and see who had a bright future. Amen. Knew what to do with a bright future. No matter what they say, they didn't say what they saw. They say what God said. Amen. 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 I'm more than a To him who loved me. Amen. In the New Testament, that's the opposite of, of, of this thing here. That, 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 all these things are against me. I, I said that could be a subject. Amen. But then, then over here, I wrote on the index card when I leave this morning. I said, you really got two reports. One report said all these things are against me. Amen. And, and, and then over in the New Testament, in Romans 8, it says all things work together. For good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. Amen? Amen. Now, which report are you going to believe? Yeah. Kevin used to say the song about whose report uh, will you believe? Will you believe the report of the world? Amen? You got to get on Facebook and tell all you do all that crazy stuff, talk all that crazy stuff, hear these people talking, casting doubt on, the, on, on God. Everybody calls me not too long ago talking about, is that some more books in the Bible? I mean, I heard there are some more books in the Bible that, that you have been. I, I said, I said, you want to answer to that question, young know, man? Come to church, I'll answer. I said, I don't, I don't get a private lesson on the phone for nine minutes. Right. I said, come to church, I'll give you the answer to that. Amen. I said, but that's for, for your record. He said, come and say something about the Catholic Church. I said, son, the Catholic Church didn't exist until uh, 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 300 uh, AD. Amen. I said, you find it with the third church of Revelation. I said, you know, I told a few more things. I said, now I know I'm confused. You come to church and check it out. Amen. Right. Amen. But which who report are you going to believe? Right. Amen. And then there was another report, amen, over in Genesis 5 and 20. Uh, 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 Joseph, when, 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 they, when they came back, and they realized who he was. And when they realized who he was, they got scared. They said, oh, my God, they're going to kill us. Amen. You know, what are we going to do? He's going to kill us. Amen. They, 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 they told the daddy about his, they brought their daddy back, told everybody back. Let me tell you something. If you stay with the Lord, even if your family leave God, if you stay with the Lord, amen, God will fix it after a while so you can pull some of your family back. That's the thing about the church. We got folks in church that talk the same way that folks do out in the world, act the same way they do out in the world, go to the same places they go to in the world. Do all the stuff the folk in the world do. And so our children, our family, don't see no God in us. They see hypocrites in us, and they think the church is a joke. Amen? But Joseph stayed with God. And through his fire and through everything else, he stayed with God. Are y'all hearing me? And in the end, Joseph was able to save his whole family. Amen? And they realized who he was. And thought he ought to be wanting to kill them. Are y'all hearing? In Genesis 15 and 20, he said, Don't fear, although you meant it for evil against me, God meant it for good. Amen. I said so many times what I went through as pastor at First Wesleyan and seeing all of that growth, you know, and all the big dream we had, you know, we were gonna build a school, we had one of the biggest daycare centers in the city. We had we had a staff of people paid uh what uh, five in the in the in the, in the nursery and a, a full-time registered nurse. Jimmy Jordan was a full-time secretary that ran the bus business. Cause we made a few thousand dollars a month just on our buses, even running for the school. So we ran a business, amen. You know, I mean just, and, and, you know, I, I had plans to learn to fly, and we were going to plant churches. I called it, uh, uh, and ordered something from James Ross the first time in all these years. And talking to the lady, I mentioned to her that I was the chair, co-chair of his crusade years ago when he was doing crusades, you know. So, you know, all those things. But I look at something. Maybe if I kept going like that and had pastor for two years, preached for two years, had pastor not a year, but those first seven, you know, all this happened. Maybe I would have been so arrogant, I might be dead. Oh you know, I might be, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You just let God work what he works, and you just keep on trusting God to do what he's going to do. And that's why, that's, that, 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 that's why Joseph said, say, they meant it, amen, they meant it for evil. Yeah. Amen. But God meant it for good. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Amen, somebody? And, and you got to, in your life, amen, you got to 
gotta, you gotta check out who's report. You come every week and get a report from the Lord. Amen. Amen, somebody? You gotta check out who's report you're gonna believe. Amen. Amen, somebody? I love that second in Corinthians 2 14. For God always causes us. You know, that's my favorite. God always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Amen. I told my lady, my daughter, that a few years ago. Amen. When she was out in the cell back with the city. Amen. Amen. I said, baby, you always remember this. I said, you in, you in, you in, 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 in spiritual warfare. Yeah. Amen. I, I told you, look all over your city. You know, everywhere you look, you got lesbians and gay men running at I said, you got up in your police department. I didn't rename them folks then, amen. I said, and you bat you bat in that, amen. I said, you're a Christian, amen. I said, you got a Buddhist chief, amen. You got Satan all over you, amen. But I told him, second uh, Corinthians 2 14 saying, God always causes you to triumph. Amen. And they put it in a position that a black woman shouldn't have. God put her there, and if she did that with a lot of things, they realized she couldn't be pushed around. Are you hearing me? And they finally moved her about the first of this year. They created a position. Amen. To move her from over internal affairs. All that power. Created one. And she's doing little or nothing. I said, baby, that's called favor. Amen. That's called favor. Amen. Sit on your butt and do little or nothing and get that money and get your retirement. That is called favor. Amen. God always calls us to survive in life. Amen, somebody. Amen. Underline the word always. 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 Joseph went from the uh, uh, outhouse to the penthouse. To the, amen. Always causing us to try in Christ. Oh, God. I didn't really do it. I'm going to have to sit down. I'm going to have to sit down. Amen. God was with him. God was with him. Amen. God was with him. As a matter of fact, Jacob's last days was his best days. He was with his son that he thought was lost. But he put that seed in the boy. See, when you put that seed in there, let me tell you something. You see, sometimes, they, 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 every once in a while, I, I do personal things. Amen? I've been a little longer to be personal. Amen? I told you, I, I uh, dedicated the life to the Lord when it's a little baby. Amen? And I remind the Lord so many times, you know, you gave him the many ways. Amen. Uh, take that us place. Thank God. Amen. Never fall us. Amen. And, and, and even this week, he got hit with an injury and in limited. Uh, could hardly get out the wire and come get him. Amen. But, 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 by the time I took him uh, to urgent care Tuesday, all they did was verify that that was something bad. But we had done the icing and the other things and laid the hands on him. And, and by the way, he was walking. And I had to fuss with him uh, uh, yesterday because he wanted to go to the wild. Amen. But I told him, I said, God, God dedicated him to you. He's not mine. I'm raising him for you. I, I see greatness in him. Amen. Speak greatness in your children. Lay your hands and put greatness on them. Amen. Amen. You can't put greatness if you don't try to walk greatness. Amen. Lay, amen. Lay your hands on so God. Amen. You get the press. Amen. Learn to bless your children. This old man had blessed his boy. It made other folk mad because it showed him favor. But God is a God of favor. Favor will move you from the back of the line to the front of the line. Favor will turn your enemy, amen, into your footstool. Favor will give you a good report when the doctor is shaking their head. Favor is favor, amen. Favor is favor, amen, somebody. Favor will make you be like Paul. When the ship broke up, amen, he was supposed to go crazy. But Paul said, I know what I still got. I see a plank in the water. And with God and me and the plank, we can do more than I could have done on the ship. But y'all hear me, somebody? I'm talking about God. God is an awesome God, amen. A discouraged person cannot stand in favor because you've got to see it to believe it. But what you do is believe it, and then you're going to see it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob started something. I know, I know. But give, me, give me a couple more minutes. Can I have a couple more? Yeah. They started something. They started something. 
Then something happened. In the first chapter of Exodus and the eighth verse, the Bible says there arose a Pharaoh that knew not Joseph. Are y'all hearing it? There arose a Pharaoh that didn't know Joseph. And this Pharaoh said there are too many of them. We're going to end up being a mess at the end of time. And we need to do something about it. And we know what happened. We know what happened. They start giving them trials. For 400 years, they left 430 years. 30 years in peace, Abraham out of Amen. Amen. Then, then, then the one that knew not Joseph, for 400 years, they were oppressed. Stay with me now. They were oppressed. Then God went to the back desert of Africa. A man, a Jew, had married an African woman named Zipporah by the name of Moses. And God went to the back desert, wherever you are. Don't thank God on the way you are. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. He went back and told Moses, I heard that cry. I've been listening to him. I want you to go down. I want you to go down and do what you tried to do 40 years ago when you were 40 years old. But you tried, I, I can identify with that. You know, I tried, that's what, that was all, that's what about seven years of ministry all about. But delivering our folks from the white people who were taking all our money and gave us no rights and said we were inferior in that magazine. And I told them we would not give you nothing else and we ain't stand under your dictatorial leadership. Amen. No taxation without representation. Slap my head on, on the table, look at that man, man in his eyes, and pull out four out, and he left. Now we had a little while, we won't stay with, you know, some people won't stay with Donald Trump. Did you know Mary Abbott's brother is a Republican? Yeah. That voted with that lady who, who talked about lynching us. You will always have some black folk that feel like uh, one of them can't lead you out. Amen. Amen. We had a few of them. Amen. But, 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 but Moses was ready to go back now. Let me begin. I know this is a little bit. I'm teaching today. I teach you to take me wrong. You better get this. Amen. I've been there now. Amen. And so he sent him back down. Amen. He said, I've been here, y'all. I didn't forget you. Amen. Amen. I sent him to get you out. He brought Pharaoh down to find the tenth, I believe in the last place. It was tenth place, that most. The tenth place was the death of your first child. And that death he just started moving through. God had told his people, say, I want you to put, kill a man and take his blood and put it on the doorpost. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When the, when, when, the, when, the, when the destroyer come through, he will jump over the blood. Amen? Jews called it not Passover, called death and judgment passed over them. He said, and I want you to kill a lamb and I want you to eat the lamb. And then the next day, I want you to leave. Psalm 105, I believe, says, and they went 40 years from Egypt to Canaan, and not one was sick or feeble because of the Passover. The blood saved them. The body healed them. That's what I was going to preach. But it got so big, I said, they were I was going to preach, I was going to go there, but I was going to have a real thing. Amen? You don't hear about the body in the church. We just keep hearing about the blood. Because we don't preach healing in the church. Amen? And so we have a lot of our folk. Amen? As we get older, our bodies are deteriorating, but you can fight it with the word. It doesn't have to do it as fast as you say. Amen? God didn't make us to die and leave at seven. Oh, God had to leave the world as well. I tried not to do it. I wouldn't even preach it. Amen? I'm going to sit out. Amen? Amen? The body that took a three million in the, in the Old Testament, that was the Ecclesia. It is called out as Ecclesia. Amen? It don't have to be the church. Amen? The Jews was like a church. Amen? They were called out of God. Three million of them went 40 years on their way to that blessing, not one was sick or feeble. But God says to the Corinthian church, many of you are sick and feeble. Amen. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. Many of you. Amen. I'm sitting down with this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. That's good. Amen. 
First, uh, uh, first Corinthians 11, uh, 29. Get it somebody reading for me. And I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I'll talk to you today. Amen? Yeah. This is what the Lord's Supper is all about. Yeah. Jesus celebrated Passover. Amen? Yeah. He celebrated Passover. And then he let them know this is the last Passover. And then he initiated the Lord's Supper. And the Lord's Supper, amen, celebrates his dying and his resurrection and his coming back for us and his staying power with us. Amen.